Hi guys, I know it's been a while. It's been kind of crazy around here. I know I haven't posted in a while and I want to apologize for that. Lately, ever since I got promoted, it's just been very crazy. Um, and I just got back from Vegas. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, um, you should because I posted some pictures from my trip up there and I had a lot of fun and it was fun for my 21st and I loved it. I want to go back. Um, but if you can see my bed back there, please excuse it. It's a mess. Um, I'm currently unpacking, uh, from my trip and I needed to film a video ASAP because I'm like, I need to do a video as soon as possible. So, um, so basically when I was packing for my trip, I was deciding what makeup I should bring because in Vegas, um, the weather's obviously a lot different. It's drier, it's going to be warmer than here, so I wasn't sure exactly what kind of makeup to bring. And I knew I had to bring something that was going to be moisturizing. And this video is going to talk to you guys about my top moisturizing lip products. Um, these are not, you know, designed to be colorful or anything. They're just supposed to be good bases for, like, dark lips or just to moisturize your lips. Because right now, since I got back, it's cold. And apparently there's going to be, like, a snowstorm or something, which is not cool. So I'm just... <sighs> I miss Vegas weather. It was like 75 degrees every day, clear skies. Nice, very nice. But um, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my top favorite lip products that are just purely for moisturizing my lips. So the first thing is something that's really new to my collection. I recently hauled it. It is the Maybelline Baby Lips Dr. Rescue. And I have to tell you guys, I really like this. Um, because I know I've tried a Baby Lips, like the regular line, and I wasn't a fan of it really. Um, but I like this one. Um, I just got, um, what is it? I don't know the scent. It's like too cool. I don't know if it says the name. Oh yeah, 35, too cool, which is just a nude balm. Um, I will tell you guys though, it's very like cough drop smelling. Like it's a very medicated smell, but I love it. It makes my lips nice and moisturized and the scent of it doesn't linger on my lips at all. Um, I wouldn't say licking it is the best option because I've done that before. Like I accidentally just like lick my lips and I'm like, mm, it doesn't taste good, but it's good. It keeps my lips nice and hydrated and doesn't, you know, make them, doesn't, it doesn't, f like, get clumpy or anything. It's a very nice moisturizing balm. And I do, I will, I will say I do prefer having my lip balms in a tube form than in a pot form. Um, just mainly because I don't like to get my fingers dirty a lot. Um, but... I have a few of those as well because I do like them. Next thing is something I got for my birthday from Sephora. This, this is from like last year, I think, because I think there's a new birthday package. Um, but it's the Fresh Sugar Rose um, Tinted Lip Treatment with SPF 15. And um, it came with another set. It was like a clear one, but I actually prefer this one more. It's a tinted rose color. Here, I'll swatch it for you. It's very sheer, like it's a very, like I had to go over that like several times to get a color payoff, but it smells like a nice kind of lemony tea scent, kind of like um, like a lemon rose tea kind of scent to it. it. It's really, really nice and it's moisturizing and I like this size because it's really, really small and you could just, in the little size. And you can just throw it in your purse. And I know they sell, you know, the full sizes of these. But I'm just going to use this for now. And if I use up, I'll probably, I would like to buy it again. I like the Fresh brand itself. So I like this. Okay. As for my two kind of pot type moisturizing lip products. Um, the first one is a splurge. It's my luxury one. It's the Christian Dior Creme de Rose Smoothing Plumping Lip Balm with SPF 10. And I've seen a lot of people... Um, comment about this saying it's a really really nice lip balm and I do really like it um, as you can see I've hit pan on it um, it has a very nice subtle rose scent to it and it's very creamy and it's very you don't need a lot you just literally just tap your finger in and just rub it over your lips and your lips are set to go I really like it's a th it's a thicker like if you get a lot on your finger it's a thick kind of cream um, 
texture to it, but it's a really nice product. I know it's expensive, and I think it retails for close to $30, which is ridiculous, but I really, really like it. Um, it's kind of like my luxury one. I like to use it at night, um, which is nice, and um, I like the packaging too. It's pretty. And the last one is something very popular here on YouTube. It's the Smith's Rosebud Salve um, lip balm, I guess. Um, you can pick this up at Sephora. I've seen it at other stores too. Um, and the great thing about this is you can use it for um, like other stuff too. It says, Rosebud Salve may help to relieve chapped lips and skin diaper rash blemishes, detergent burns, and rough cuticles, and may soften rough hands. I only use it for my lips, um, just because I like to. Um, it's like, it's like a, it's like a nice pink. This one is a little bit more potent than the Christian Dior Rose one, but I like how this is used more frequently through, like, you can use it for other things. Um, I have to say this is a little bit more thinner consistency. Oh my god. It's a little bit more thinner, but it keeps my lips nice and hydrated, and it's like around six bucks, so it's a pretty good deal. Because um, if you don't want to splurge on the Christian Dior, this is a good dupe for it. Um, I find mine. I found mine at uh, Sephora in like the little bins near the checkout area, so that's where they always get you. And um, this is a great lip balm, and I highly recommend it. And I've never tried it for cuticles, but I do need a cuticle like. Um, cream or oil or something because my cuticles are really hating me right now. It's just very dry outside and I need something to keep them nice and moisturized. But um, I use I use this solely for my lips and my lips only. So, um, But yeah, those are my top lip products, guys. I hope you guys found this a little helpful. Um, let me know what your favorite um, moisturizing lip products are, whether it be like a lipstick or a lip gloss or just something like I did, just something simple with really no color payoff and just simple to just throw on your lips um but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you go uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're a new watcher to my channel and i will see you guys soon bye